hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sheila and today we are going to be learning how to make this shirt i know some of you have seen it maybe on pinterest and uh, maybe other platforms and you were wondering how they make it well i'm going to be showing you how it's very easy it's uh, beginner friendly all you have to know is to double crochet single crochet half double crochet and yeah that's it i'm going to be showing you how to shape it and to achieve this look in the end so let's get into the tutorial so for this project you'll need a five millimeter crochet hook any medium weight yarn i'll be using um robin yarn but i'll be doubling my strand since this is not very um very thick and it doesn't recommend this so i'll be doubling it to achieve a medium weight look then you also need a, a measuring tape this is very essential for this project because um we're going to be measuring some parts of our bodies so let's get into the tutorial so grab your yarn and your hook of course So since I'm going to be doubling my strand, I'm going to start off with two. And then I'm going to make a chain. You're going to make to do a measurement around your hip area. So measure your hip size and make a chain that goes around your hips. So make a slip knot. A slip knot, you just um, twist your yarn like this, make that cross like this, insert your hook, yarn over pull through, but don't leave this part, yarn over pull through again, and then you tighten that. Then make a chain that goes around your hip. This is one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm back and I've gotten the measurement of a chain that goes around my hips. So I've made a chain of 120 and this would fit, I think, a medium size so what i want you to do is to remove this we are going to reduce this measurement by 11 rows so remove that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and 11 so if you had 120 chains like me you have a total of uh, 109 right now you no longer have 120 so after this you're going to chain one and then single crochet in that uh, in the second chain from the hook not in this one in this one single crochet in the second chain from the hook chain up four and then skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch so this chain four counts as a double crochet chain one so chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next that's what we are going to do for the rest of the row chain one skip one and double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one chain and double crochet in the next chain so that's all I'm going to do until the end of the row continue doing that and I'll see you when you're done with this and we go to row two okay so here we are coming to the end of the first row so you will chain one sorry I've already chained one here and then go into the very last stitch with a double crochet 
So this is how our very first chore looks like. We are working this shirt from up downwards. So after this, you're going to chain up four. And I told you that chain four counts as a double crochet, chain one. Then turn your work. And then you're going to um, skip this space. You're going to go into the next double crochet and double crochet there. Then chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. So this is how we are going to be starting uh, our rows. So continue doing that until the end of the row and don't forget to place a double crochet in the very last stitch, which is this one. So when you come here, you double crochet here, chain one, and then skip this uh, stitch and double crochet in this one. This will be your very last stitch. So go all the way back and I'll see you when I'm done with my row two. Coming to the end of my second row and I've chained one and then I'm going to skip over this stitch and go into this stitch with a double crochet. And this is how your work should look like. So we're going to repeat the same exact thing that we've done for row two until we have a total of five rows of mesh. So go ahead and chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one and continue working the mesh stitch until you have a total of five, uh, five rows of mesh. Then I'll show you what to do next. Cause from there, we are going to do something different. This is the part that's going to rest at the top of our shirt. So this is the part that's around your waistline, then some distance below your waistline. Okay, so we are back with our favors of uh, mesh stitch. So we are going to be doing something different. Uh, for the next seven rows, so these are five. For the next seven rows, we, sh we shall be doing a half double crochet. So you will chain one, turn your work, and then half double crochet in the very first stitch here. One. Then half double crochet in the space. Then half double crochet in the stitch, and half double crochet in the space. So a half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all the three loops. So continue doing that both in the space and in the stitch, placing one one half double crochet in each of them until the end of the row. So stitch, space. Make sure you don't skip any. So I've gone all the way back to the beginning of the row or the end of the row. So I've come to the end of my first row of half double crochets and don't forget to place one half double crochet in this very last stitch uh, on top of the chain three. That's your very last stitch. And now uh, what we are going to do for the second row of double crochet of half double crochets you're going to chain one turn your work and then half double crochet all the way across so now you can see the stitches clearly you'll go into each and every half double crochet with a half double crochet 
So you start with the very first one because the chain one doesn't count as a stitch. And then continue to place one half double crochet in each and every half double crochet below it. And we are going to repeat row two. I'll call this row two of half double crochets, but if you confused, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can call it row seven since these were five and then this was six and this is row seven. So from this row until row 12, but if you if you can keep track by saying this is row one of half double crochets then you're going to have seven rows of half double crochets so continue to work that until you have seven rows of half double crochets all right so here we are at the end of our 12th row uh, we have seven rows of half double crochets and five rows of mesh stitch which makes a total of 12 rows in total so um right now we are going to do something different so you remember the 11 chains that we took off from this part when we did the chain that goes around our hips we're going to bring them back at this point so when you get to the end of your um 12th row you're going to chain 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so once you get that you're going to get this other corner and you're going to slip stitch in the very first stitch the very first half double crochet so remember we didn't count the chain one as a stitch so you're going to go into the half double crochet and make a slip stitch so that will be it for this uh for this row you'll chain one and then you're going to get a pair of scissors and cut your yarn pull through this so you should have something like this so right now we are going to start working in rounds so uh, what I want to do is to locate the exact middle of this panel that we've been working without this so you're going to remember I had a total of uh, 120 I took off 11 stitch 11 chains and then I remained with 109 stitches. So that means my exact middle stitch is going to be um, 109 divided by two, which is 55, I think. My 55th stitch is my exact middle of this panel that we've been working without these chains. So I'm going to identify the 55th stitch and put a stitch marker there. So I've put a stitch marker at this point and now I'm going to reattach my yarn at that same exact point. So no more need for the stitch marker. We are doing this at the back so that the seam line is at the back of our shirt not at the front. So you're going to insert your hook in that very stitch where you um, put the stitch marker and then attach your yarn don't put away this we still need it for something so identify the direction where we were working so you can see this row is going in this direction so the next row will be in the opposite direction that's how i always want to do my work so that i keep the flow of the pattern so i'll chain one and then turn my work And then half double crochet in that very space where the chain one is coming from and then continue to half double crochet all the way around 
the shirt because now we are working in rounds so we shall also have double crochet onto the chain that we made the chain 11 so continue to half double crochet all the way around until you reach this point and i'll show you what to do when you get there so i'm going to be showing you this whole part because i also want to place my stitch marker somewhere along the way so continue to work one half double crochet Okay, so we're almost coming to the chain that we made, the chain 11. So continue working your half double crochets until the very last stitch of the block panel. So I'm placing my very last stitch in that last stitch there. And then uh, you can see we have our chain 11. I'm going to turn it a bit so that I work into the stitches. Okay, we can work in the back side. So uh, remember half of 11 is 5.5. .5. So the sixth stitch here is our exact middle. So you're going to go into the very first chain. That's one. Go into the second one. That's two. The third one. The fourth the fifth and then the sixth so that sixth uh, stitch will get a stitch marker here and then go all the way back so this is seven eight nine ten and 11 so once you get your 11 stitches across go on to the um, the other side of the shirt and continue to place one half double crochet in each and every um, half double crochet below Alright, so we are coming to the end of the round and now we are going to go into the very last stitch and place a half double crochet there and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. So at this point you can notice that we are back to our original number of chains that we did at the beginning before subtracting the 11. You should be back at 120 or whatever number of stitches or chains that you made at the very beginning before subtracting the 11 um, chains so after the slip stitch you're going to chain one and turn your work and then do a half double crochet in all the way around 
and maintain this number for a total of eight rows. Make a total of eight rows while working in rounds and don't forget to always turn your work at the beginning of every row. And when you come to this point which has the stitch marker, after placing your stitch in this stitch, you move the stitch marker up to the next uh, row because we need this point. It's really crucial. So go all the way around for a total of eight rows. So that should bring us to um, 20 rows in total. Because we have five here, then we had uh, seven here, which brought us to 12 rows. And now we are going to do eight rows of rounds. So that should bring us to 20 rows in total. So go all the way around and I'll see you when you're done with that. And we shall start on the next step of the shirt. All right, so here we are at the end of our 20th row. I'm making my very last half double crochet and then slip stitching into the first half double crochet of the row. And that marks the end of our 20 rows of rounds. Our 20, uh, 20 rows. So um, as you can see, I kept moving my stitch marker up so i know where the exact mid of my work is you should have something like this it it has an opening at the top here and now we are going to do something different you're going to look for your uh you're going to get your tape measure and we are going to take a measurement this is called the round fly so the round fly is where you want your shirt to start from. Let me say my belly button down in between my legs and up my backside up to where you want your shirt to stop. So this will determine how high waisted your shirts are or how low cut your shirts are. So once you find out that measurement, that's what we want to achieve. So turn your work to the back and take this measurement when stretched towards the downer side. So you can see it stretches to 12 inches. It, stretch it, it stretches to about 12 inches. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So since we have this side and then also the front side, so that means it's a total of uh, 24 inches. And now I've taken um, the measurement of my round fly and it's 28. So I'm going to make a chain of uh, four inches. Um, this is because 28 minus the 24 that I've got from the already worked shirt. That is, uh, I remain with four inches. So I need to make a chain of four inches. So you're going to get back to your shirt where you left off. Here, you're going to insert your hook and you're going to chain a chain that's four inches. So ignore this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Keep checking if it's uh, 4 inches. This is 4 inches when stretched. But I'll add uh, 3 chains just to be on a safe side so that it's not very tight in between our legs then uh, that makes it a total of 18 chains and then you're going to remove your stitch marker from this point and you go into it with a slip stitch so at this point we no longer need the slip stitch it has done its work and we have split the leg holes and uh, we can take away this So after your slip stitch here, 
we are going to be working on the legs separately so all we are going to do is go all the way around I'll be starting with this side because um, the stitches are facing the opposite direction so I'll be starting with this side then I go all the way around so you chain one and half double crochet in that very stitch where you've put the slip stitch and continue to work one half double crochet in each and every um, stitch below so we're almost going to be doing the same exact thing that we've been doing for the rounds just that this time we're going to be working on the legs separately so go all the way around for a total of um, I'll be letting you know how many rows I did but just continue moving around and I'll let you know how many that I did for one leg okay so after my very first round of the first leg I decided to cut my yarn I decided to fasten off so that I reattach my yarn at the back of my shirt so that I don't have a seam line at the front of my shirt so I'll reattach somewhere at the back so that the seam line is somewhere around like in between the legs but at the back so chain one and half double crochet all the way around that's uh, I thought I would show you the change because we may finish the project and you notice the change in your shirt for mine so continue just walking half double crochets all the way around alright so we are back and uh, I decided to do a total of 10 rows you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so I've extended one side of the leg by 10 rows and uh, at the end of your 10th row of course you're going to slip stitch and I hope you remember to keep um, turning your work every other row so that you keep the seam in a straight line so you can see that if you're keen you can actually know that you are joining from here but it's not so visible it's actually neat so um, after your 10 rows you're going to chain 4 and turn your work now we are going to do the mesh stitch this is our edging and uh, we are going to bring back this pattern here you're going to skip over the next stitch and go into the next with a double crochet chain one skip the next stitch go into the next stitch with a double crochet chain one so we are going to repeat all uh, we're going to repeat this all the way around let me do that and I'll get back when I have my mesh row finished so chain one skip one stitch double crochet in the next stitch that's all we are going to do for this row we've come to the end of the mesh row and now you're going to chain one and slip stitch on top of the third chain so there's one two and into the third chain you're going to place a slip stitch like that so you're going to chain one turn your work and this is our very final row you're going to single crochet in that first space chain up three and then double crochet three more times in that same space and then single crochet in the next space and single crochet once in the next space chain up three and double crochet three times 
in that same exact space. Single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain up three, and then double crochet three times in that same space. So that's all we are going to do for this whole row. We're going to repeat the same exact thing one more time. Single crochet once in the next um, space, single crochet once in the next chain one space chain up three and then double crochet three times in the same exact space so go all the way around with this pattern and i'll show you how my leg will look like after um i get done with my final row and then we shall go back to the upper side of the shirt because what you're going to do here is exactly what you're going to do for this leg so I'm coming to the end of the scallop row. These are the scallops I've created at the edge of the shirt. So I've done a single crochet in this gap and I'm going to go into the very first single crochet that I made with a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. This marks the end of the very first leg. And um, you're going to go back and whatever you've done on this side, you're going to do it onto this side so that you have balanced legs. So you will reattach your yarn at the back of this side. Go all the way around with half double crochets for a total of um, 10 rows, just like this side. And then you will do the mesh row and then the scallop row. Don't forget to always turn your work whenever you, you're moving on to the next row. So let me leave this at that. And you're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. So our next step is to work on the upper side of the shirt. So we still have this gap that looks unsightly and it looks unplanned. So I'm going to be showing you how so I'm coming to the end of the scallop row these are the scallops I've created at the edge of the shirt so I've done a single crochet in this gap and I'm going to go into the very first single crochet that I made with a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn this marks the end of the very first leg and um, you're going to go back and whatever you've done on this side you're going to do it onto this side so that you have balanced legs so you will reattach your yarn at the back of this side go all the way around with half double crochets for a total of um, 10 rows just like this side and then you will do the mesh row and then the scallop row don't forget to always turn your work whenever you you're moving on to the next row so let me leave this at that and you're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing so our next step is to work on the upper side of the shirt so we still have this gap that looks unsightly and it looks unplanned. So I'm going to be showing. All right, now we're going to be working on the upper side of our shirt to do all the details around here. So you're going to place your work like this and you're going to reattach your yarn at this point, at this corner. So go into that corner and attach your yarn. What we are going to do, you can see the edging is really poor. We are going to be edging this and then moving into the detail at the front. So you are going to chain one and then single crochet two times in each and every chain one space. One, two, 
then you move into the next space you're not working anything into the stitches so two single crochets in each and every chain one space just go into the spaces all the way around so keep doing that until you get to this point and I'll show you what to do from there so we are coming to the end of the row and you're going to place two single crochets in that very last box like that so right now we've gone all the way around the top of the shirt with a single crochet row placing two single crochets in each and every chain one space and this is how your shirt should look like it looks neater and uh, well edged now we're going to do something different at this point I'm going to put away this I'll weave it in later and also this now you're going to turn your work to the side like this we're going to enter into this gap and keep working something so you're going to chain one and then half double crochet in the side of that single crochet half double crochet once like that then half double crochet two times in each and every box so those are two two in this one two half double crochets in this one two half double crochets in the next one like that two half double crochets in the next two half double crochets in the next box and now when you get to the half double crochet rows you're going to be placing one half double crochet in each and every row So since we had seven rows, you'll have seven stitches from around here to here at the bottom. We had seven rows of half double crochets. Then up here, you'll have two two in each, which will be a total of ten plus the one that you put on the side of the single crochet. So after this, you're going to skip this stitch here and then go into the next stitch with a slip stitch like that then turn your work to the base because now we are going like this so keep working slip stitches in between the stitches so I'm not going into the stitches because uh, I want this to be almost invisible I don't want it to bulge I'm going to just do slip stitches across like this until I get to the second last space so you can see that there's this space left and then you're going to turn your work and then half double crochet in the very first row on this side then continue to half double crochet in each and every row until you get to the mesh part like that so when you get to the mesh part you'll be placing two half double crochets in each and every uh, double crochet space place two half double crochets so this is my very last one it will get two half double crochets and then one half double crochet in the side of the single crochet row so that marks the end of this row this round actually because we are back to where we started from so this is what you should have at this moment And now you're going to chain four 
one two three four which counts as a double crochet chain one skip this first stitch and then go into this one with a double crochet chain one skip this double crochet in the next chain one skip this double crochet in the next chain one skip this double crochet in the next chain one skip double crochet in the next chain one skip this and double crochet in the next stitch so what we are doing right now is um, bringing back the mesh pattern to the middle of the shirt you can see that this is where we are going to lace up the shirt to close up at the front of the shirt so chain one skip this double crochet in this one chain one skip this double crochet in the next so right now you can see we have one stitch left before we start on the slip stitches so you're going to skip over it and then count two stitches up this is one two and then you slip stitch find somewhere to place your hook and slip stitch there sorry you'll have to first chain one and then attach your uh, yarn to the base of the shirt so you can see that we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight and nine boxes so we have to keep that number on the other side so continue to slip stitch all the way back until you have two stitches left this is one and two so you're going to chain one and turn your work and then skip this and then double crochet in the next that's one chain one skip this double crochet in the next chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next so we have a total of three boxes we need a total of nine so continue doing that four five six seven eight and then nine in the very last stitch here place your last double crochet there so um let me show you what you should have i know it's folding but we need this a bit tight so this is what we have right now So this is what we have and now from this you're going to have to chain one so chain one and turn your work we are doing our very last row of single crochets so plus sorry a single crochet in this very fast double crochet like that and then place two single crochets in each and every chain one space so two single crochets in each and every chain one space all the way down and then i'll show you what to do when you get to the bottom of the depression So this last space will also get two single crochets and then you will go on to the base. I know it's now very hard to place slip stitches but find where to place the slip stitches anywhere until you have one stitch left here and now you move to this side with one with two single crochets in each and every um, chain one space like 
like that. So this is my very last one. And I'll place two single crochets and then the very last one on top of the chain three. Hope that makes sense. And after this, you're going to chain one and then you're going to cut your yarn. You're going to pull through and that marks the end of the upper section of the shirt. You can see this, it's no longer a big gap of just an open space. It's no longer like that. So I'm going to get rid of these and then I come back when everything is neat and without these strands. All right, so I'm grid of the loose ends. You're going to make a chain of around 200. I've already made mine. And then we are going to start weaving it through this um, space because we don't want this open, but we want it adjustable. So through the very first box, and then the next one. So you can go through each and every box or you can skip one one box and go into the next. So that's up to you. Depends on the look you want to achieve. But I'll be place I'll be weaving it through each and every box because I want mine to be compact. So just lace it through like a shoelace, this side and the other side. Keep crossing from this side to the other side. And at this point, we are done with our shirt. You will tie this. If you want this a bit longer, maybe you should have chained around 300, but this is enough because it's not so much in your face. So this is what we have. And then uh, if this does not fit very well, you're going to make another chain that goes around the shirt and gathers this waist area. I hope I'm clear on that. You have, let me demonstrate using a string. You will have a chain and then you put it through here, the whole of the very first row at the top. And then it gathers at this point so that it, um, holds the waist uh, more tightly if you have a very small waist. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked every single bit of it. Make sure to like the video, of course, um, subscribe and comment if you haven't understood anything. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.